You may have been asked to use PebblePad during one of your courses, but did you know that you can also use it on your own as a student or staff member? It is valuable to reflect on experiences while studying or while in work. PebblePad can support you with this and help you to keep track of these reflections. In a workplace setting, keeping and updating written reflections are the building blocks for creating a professional development diary, which can be useful for performance reviews and appraisals. Building up a portfolio using a tool such as PebblePad can be an advantage when it comes to preparing for interviews, either for jobs or for their education opportunities. Having a portfolio allows you not only to review your development, but also to present and share it as evidence. And, of course, learning how to construct a portfolio is a skill in itself. We will now take you through the process of creating and sharing a web folio presentation which is very much like a multi-page website. We will be using the templates within PebblePad as an example of one of the ways PebblePad can be used. PebblePad comes with many useful templates to facilitate and scaffold you when starting out with this style of reflective work, giving you a predefined structure. As you become more confident using PebblePad, you can create your own templates. You log into PebblePad through MyEd. As a student, it sits on your Studies tab. As a member of staff, it will be on the Teaching tab. If you do not have a Teaching tab, you can add PebblePad via the Customize option in MyEd. So now, we will add a new Folio page to PebblePad. A folio page allows you to design and lay out your own page made up of text, videos, audio, or images. Give the folio a title and description in the Properties panel, and then start adding elements to the page. You can add various combinations of text and media to the page, as well as any open badges that you might want to present as evidence of achievement. Then save it. We will now show an example of one of the more structured templates. The action plan allows you to create a plan that can help you to achieve a goal or outcome. An example of use would be to create a plan for a project you're working on, or perhaps for personal development purposes, you could use an action plan to improve a particular skill set or area. The action plan prompts you to think about various aspects of planning, including identifying steps to success, and engaging with a SWOT analysis, identifying strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. You cannot add any new section to the action plan template. Remember that with PebblePad you only need to fill in the relevant areas. Don't forget to save your action plan. The items you create in PebblePad are referred to as assets. Once you have created some assets, you may wish to group these together into a portfolio of evidence and share them with others, either directly or publish to the web. The Webfolio tool allows you to do this. Create a new Webfolio item by going to Design New Webfolio. Give the webfolio a name and description, and remember to save. 
you can now either create a new folio page, which is much like a post page, or add any existing assets from your asset store. For each new page, a navigation element will appear in the left-hand side of the web folio. This is how users will navigate between the different pages of your web folio. Once you have built your web folio, you can then share it with colleagues, either inside or outside the institution. All you need to know is their email address. Or you can publish it on the web. If you share with someone outside the university, you will need to create new external. This option appears as you begin to type their email address into the sharing dialog window. If you wish to share with someone within the institution, simply type in their name or email address and select Search for Contact. To publish to the web, select the web folio in your asset store and click on the Publish button. Select To Web. You can make the web folio partly private, which means it won't be found by web searches, or you can open publish which makes your web folio visible to everyone online. You can also set a date to unpublish the web folio. Thanks for watching.